Hello, friend, and welcome back to the channel. This prophetic word comes from Abel Praise, Abuja, Nigeria. You can walk on a bruised heel. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. Genesis 3.15 There are battlegrounds you could be sent to labor in for the kingdom of God that will see you take a hit, a bruise to your heel. If you let the bruised heel become your focus, you won't see, you won't fulfill the core of your mission. And that's to cut off the head of the snake. That bruised heel may be anything troubling or unsettling us that makes laboring more tedious. With a bruised heel, you can't run as fast as you should. You get worn out faster. Your time is split because you, you must give attention to nursing your bruise with one hand while fighting with the other. It's, it's an unfair fight. A bruised heel, it may mean that you have prayer meetings, yet you have no money nor location to meet, except an open space regardless of weather conditions. A bruised heel may mean you must make a trip to a certain place even when you don't have the provision to enable you to make the comfortable trip, and hence you, you take a long, strenuous walk. A bruised heel, maybe it means the conditions for battle. They're upstaged and, and you are seemingly at a disadvantage. Accept your focus on the Lord and the victory revealed to be gained unto the Lord. It's stronger than your pain or seeming disadvantage. You may not win. In times like this, God designs a victory path for you, one that may be demanding and requires a great sacrifice and consistent prayer and obedience. Only through this can you navigate yourself through the blueprints of God and crush the head of the snake, even with a bruised heel. Above all, only a sincere love for the Lord can keep you standing and pressing on because every other thing would have lost its capacity to motivate you. So press on. It's because you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your might, and with all your soul. Heavenly Father, I thank you that though our heels may be bruised, Father, we are doing the work of your kingdom. Friend, have you ever thought that the, that the battles that you face, that the, the seemingly bruised heels that you face, that the, that the hurt and the pain is actually working towards something better? That it's actually something that we can offer to God, that he, he is strong in our weakness, that he is greater, we are lesser, and that even though we may be physically at a disadvantage, we may be spiritually at a disadvantage, we may be whatever disadvantage you may, may, may take it as. I thank you, Father, that you are the wind in our sails. You are the strength, Father, that it's our, our love and our, our, our devotion to you, Father. It's the zeal for the Lord that's our strength, Father, I pray. My friend and I today can be more obedient, that we don't get lulled into complacency or what's easy and comfortable or what's even just our favorite method or, or, or style. But I pray, Father, that we walk on bruised heels. And I pray, Father, that we even go further than that, that we run on bruised heels for your kingdom's cause. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.